Kratos? <laughs> Surely you're not supposed to. You know what? yours I would have signed it but it was important you come here for your own reasons then you're not an illusion here in the flesh old friend what do you want I know what you're wrestling with Spartan I understand it better than you realize the shame, the doubt, the question I could find no answer for until I came here, lifetimes ago, stepped through that door. What is in there? Oh, I'm not here to spoil that for you, only to help you prepare. Why? Because I can. Because for us, fighting occupies the body while our minds work out the rest. Because you're not ready. Yet. Show me. I'm sorry. Why exactly are you attacking us? Consider it a kind of trial by combat, Mimir. When Kratos can get the better of me, he'll know his mind is done. <laughs> I may have overreached for that one. I'm pleased to provide a challenge, Kratos. We're getting the hang of this place, eh? I think Valhalla has something for you. There. Use this. Do you feel adaptability sharpening your skills? Amplifying your power? I'd like to tell you a story that I think will help you along the path.
We did more things and more things to do. Check. You'll beat Valhalla at its own game. I know it. Now these would make a real and lasting difference. And that benefit's good to last. You've earned this. No experience is wasted when you learn from it. Don't you agree? I hear you like stories. I got one for you. I will hear. I wasn't born with the privilege of some of my sisters in arms. I wasn't bred for greatness. I was just the daughter of some poor innkeeper. Matter of fact, I wasn't even his. He just raised me after somebody left me there. I didn't have much going for me, but I had one thing. I wasn't afraid of anyone. If somebody was asking for a punch in the face, I never thought twice. Brought a heap of trouble on myself that way, it's true. But I sure learned how to fight. Enough for now. I'll pick that up later. Hmm. You made it even further that time. Take pride. Zeglan. How fares your journey? We have uncovered our host. It is Tyr. Tyr, you say? Aye. And no projection either. I never knew his connection to Valhalla was so strong. But then, he goes back further than I do. Fascinating.
not to take Valhalla up on some help, even if it's just for this attempt. Interested in my romantic life, brother? I am interested, and you are a big question. What happened? Well, after you dropped me off at a longhouse the other night, Seagrin made a cowberry and hazelnut pudding. Of course, I don't eat any more, so slightly awkward, but a lovely thought. And? Pretty much it, really. Hmm. There is more to this. Use a shield strike, brother. <laughs> Oh! 
Still got it. up much too late. I told her stories, she told me secrets. She put spirits to my lips, even though I can't get drunk. Then she invited me to watch her fall asleep. Mm. And the next morning? The next morning we took a boat along the Lake of Nine. It was divine, brother. The lake was sun-dappled, the air was crisp and perfect. You could smell the thaw. When did you speak? You know me too well, brother. We were on the lake when I put my metaphorical foot in it. I wouldn't say no to some short time help. Oh, 
By this point, you've certainly earned your pick of self-improvements. Shall we make a bargain? I'd like to tell you a story that I think will help you along your path. You may speak. Early in my life, before I was a Valkyrie, I was a healer in a small village. My father trained me in the use of herbs and natural remedies. To him, coming from a long line of herbal healers, that was the only true medicine. But visiting the city, I saw healers who used magic. Only magic. To treat their patients. I'd seen it work. And work wonders. I tried to tell my father, but he said mage healing was against his philosophy. The dangerous shortcut that violated tradition. Being a good daughter, I respected his convictions. But that all changed when he took ill. That's a good place to stop for now. When you're further along on your journey, I'll share the next part of my story. Hmm. demands the willingness to embrace discomfort. Fresh rewards with a side of new opportunities. Every battle is an opportunity, right, General? These could really help you in there.
Don't let Valhalla's chosen opponents get into your head, or else you'll fall to them again. I must admit, Sigrun, Valhalla isn't exactly what I imagined. You're experiencing only a very small part of it. One that's independent and unconnected from the rest of Valhalla, where there are larger neighborhoods where the dead reside. Socializing, playing games, drinking, fighting. But one must earn the right to join their fallen comrades. New arrivals run a gauntlet. A personalized, self-contained version of what you're doing. It's meant to help the dead process the lives they lived. Those who are worthy, who have found some measure of closure, are allowed to move forward. Those who are unable to resolve their lives are forever trapped in their personal Valhalla. Some just prefer to keep fighting here. Well, she was rowing past where you found her family where we treasury. Where she cursed her brother over forbidden love. That's right. And as we rowed by, I remember feeling grateful. The place was now deep underwater where she couldn't see it. And at that moment, she turned to me and she said, I think, Mimir, I might be smitten with you. I think maybe I want to kiss you. Hmm. Mm, indeed, brother. I mean, there's always been more.